First, this is Bella Dutch from All Seeing Out Tarot. Here with the lovely, monthly love scope for the zodiac sign of Leo. Sun, moon, and rising for the month of December 2020. Remember, Leo, I'm still running a contest. Last month you won. I'm still waiting on my winner, who is Shelly. Shelly, you have not contacted me, and you have literally a couple days to contact me, or I'm going to go back into Leo and choose another winner, okay? Um, I tell you guys all the time, make sure your notification bell is pressed so that you are notified when you win or when I comment on your board or your, or your message that you commented. Okay, uh, you guys know how this works. Simply, you need to share the video across all your social media, share with all your friends, your family members to get your numbers to go up. Um, whoever wins, whatever zodiac sign wins this month because it's Christmas, I'm going to choose two two winners this time of one hour with me. In the comment section, you need to comment on why you feel you deserve that one hour reading. Let's go. Spirit and Universe, what are the messages you have for Leo? Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of December. Show me what's happening with Leo. What is going down? Will they find love? Will they find a new job? What's happening with Leo? What you doing? What you doing with Leo, Spirit? What you doing? <laughs> That's how I feel, y'all. Like, what you doing with Leo? Shit. I can't take no more. <laughs> okay. Too much. Let's see what's going down. King of Pentacles. Uh oh. Temperance. Queen of Pentacles. Uh oh. What's going down? Under the King of Pentacles, we got the Sun. Under Temperance, we have the Nine of Wands. Under Queen of Pentacles, Three of Cups. I like it. Yes. Under the Sun card, King of Swords. Uh oh. Under the Nine of Wands, Knight of Cups. This is love. Under the Three of Cups, the Magician. Wow. Overall energy for Leo, the Cherry Head. Yes. It's going down. So I believe. Whose zodiac sound was that where I seen new love? Oh, that was um, my Weekend Romance. Weekend Romance Report. If you have not watched it, make sure you watch it for the 4th through the 7th. New love relationships is in the workings, okay? And I said, because we got out of this vertex, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Leo or water signs. Leo, Cancer, well, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? Usually after a vertex happens, most people will find themselves madly in love with a karmic soulmate, okay? Or a divine partnership, this is no different. What it says to me is, Leo, you got a couple options here. I see Capricorn, Taurus, Aquarius, and Libra. Hold on, y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. But as soon as my phone starts ringing and I'm recording, it cuts me off. Okay, so anyway, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, new relationships doesn't have to be just those zodiac signs. What it says to me is that a lot of Leos are going to be very surprised, especially if you are a Leo Sun, Virgo, Taurus, rising. Okay, Virgo, Taurus, rising on Leo. Something's going to happen this month. Something's going to be surprising out of nowhere. There's a reunion. We got the Three of Cups there. Now, one thing I will say, I got the Nine of Wands in the middle. All right, so this is something that you've been working at, something you've been working your tail off, trying to fix up, trying to put together. It's an epiphany that happens this month. You run into or you get back with someone very significant. Break me down on that nine of wands. Let me see that nine of wands. Five of wands. Tell me more. A little fortune. Tell me more. Come on. Get into it. Two of cups. All right, so you got more than one option Leo. More than one option. They're tripping over each other trying to get to you, Leo. Okay? Now, the Vertex has brought this on. This is a beautiful union. Alright? It's an okay. It's a yes. Move forward. It could also be Cancer Pisces. Okay? Maybe Cancer. Not Pisces, but Cancer, definitely. 
with the chariot being here, okay? It's an opportunity to move forward, and Spirit says you're ready, especially with that Queen of Pentacles being there, because that's just like saying that you're ready to become a wife, or you're the mother, or the homemaker, or etc., okay? The Three of Cups is always a celebration. So, this could represent a celebration that takes place, or running into this person during a celebration, and the Magician being there, Spirit says it's up to you on how far this relationship's going to go. Give me that Three of Cups. Five of Pentacles, tell me more. Seven of Wands, okay, this is the only thing you're going to have to defeat, Leo. Ooh, slow down, Leo. Okay. Okay, so it could be a water sign, too. The only thing that you're going to have to defeat, Leo, is oppression, depression. Oppression, depression. Something is going on with you. Could be that you're having some financial troubles this month. You're feeling very lonely. You want to give up. Well, you're there. You made it. A lot of you have made it. So this is not the time to give up. Now, with this Five of Pentacles being here and the Seven of Wands, what this says is I don't want to go out. I want to stay home. I, I don't even want to be bothered. Okay? I don't want to talk. I just don't want to be bothered. I'm very depressed. I don't even want to be around people. Spirit says there's an invitation that's coming for you. This invitation could be to a wedding, a party, uh, a family event. We got Christmas coming up. Go. I'm telling you to go. Because however they're working this situation, that's where you end up running into your divine partner. Okay? That's how you run into them. So it's very important. Give me that page of wands. Whoosh. Sorry, y'all. This is just falling everywhere. Page of Wands. Fool. Two of Wands. Queen of Swords. And the Ace of Swords. Okay. This is some sort of communication, some sort of contact. This person is going to contact you. All right? Like I said, the only problem you got to overcome... Not only that you are depressed right now, you don't want to get out. There's another... Okay, I'm going to tell you this. And I'm going to be real, real blunt and honest with you. A part of me is angry at my twin. There's a part of me that's very angry. Angry because... Why didn't you help me? You see me fall and you was okay and you were doing good and you could have helped me. But why didn't you? That's one of the hardest things for twin flames to handle is that spirit makes it so that the twin is not supposed to help you. This is something that you have to overcome on your own. This is individual journeys. Um, just as well as your twin goes through things and you can't help them. I don't know if you've ever loved someone very strongly felt like you were going to be with them felt like it was meant for you guys to be together and then during a moment of struggle you reach out to them and you ask for their help and they don't or maybe you didn't ask for their help but maybe when you were down and out and really depressed you watched them move on and go live their life or be with somebody else and you know not give two shits about you and that hurt your feelings those are the things you're going to have to overcome. Giving them a second chance. When Spirit says this is totally up to you, how you going to play this relationship, it's totally up to you. You decide how far you want to take it with this relationship. But they're telling you how to get what, what it is you want. Make it to that party. Make it to that event. I'll tell you what. Book your personal reading. Allseeingoutarot at gmail.com. So I can guide you and lead you in the direction you're supposed to go. Because although you think you can handle it, it's going to be difficult. Okay? Make sure you like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification bell. You need a personal reading. All seeing at tarot at gmail.com. And I will see you again very, very soon.